Olga, tell us about, uh, about the plans here. Well, you know that uh, we have a humanitarian crisis happening in Eastern Africa. The government put forward $72 million, and we also knew that uh, Canadians were going to be very generous. And so the government pledged to match dollar for dollar and put it into a fund. And uh, today we have the final tally, and it's $70.5 million. That's a lot of money. Yeah. That's a lot of money for Canadians. Um, how, how soon do you think before we see the results of the funding? Like, how soon before something gets, an, you know, a plan actually gets into action? Yeah, well, right now with the government's uh, first uh, $70 million, that's all been dispersed to humanitarian organizations, the World Food Program, um, World Vision, there are many Red Cross, many organizations there. And uh, this second tranche of uh, an additional $70.5 million, we are now uh, ready to receive proposals as to uh, what more needs to be done. What are the uh, increased needs? As you know, um, there's more instability, there's lack of security. We've had, uh, just in the past few days, two humanitarian workers who have been kidnapped. And it's really too bad that they're targeting now people who are there to help. Uh, a lot of people have put money into that region for a long time. So, right. so there's criticisms of even organizations like CETA saying that the aid's not getting there. You know? So how do you deal with that? Well, I think you have to look at the circumstances. Each one, each circumstance is totally different. There's a political situation, there's security situations. So what we've got to do is to say, yes, the aid is getting there. And I've got to tell you that Canada ensures that we know where the money's going. We know that it's buying food, it's delivering food, it's delivering health care. And in many countries, we've got a high level of corruption. We do not give money directly to governments. We give them to... Um, people that we know have access, that are, are accountable. Um, you work with the World Food Program. I'll tell you, that is uh, CETA and the Government of Canada's largest humanitarian partner all around the world.